And uh, we have arrived to a new base location. Uh, this island has both copper and iron, has best precipitation for farming, and uh, has flax to craft a weather resistant set of gear. Mm -hmm. Hello, and today we are going to learn to casually speedrun survival fountain of youth. Mostly because it is more fun to explore and beat the crap out of bosses when you are just like two hours in game and have progressed from Stone Age to the Iron Era with good armor and muskets and so on. I will try to condense the video to under 10 minutes. I am playing normal difficulty with six death limit. And as starting items, I have gotten a gun and a raincoat but those are not essential. You can grab an iron spear and get same things accomplished. Um, first of all, um, to, to get out of the region, you will need either to complete the storyline or to complete a better boat option. I personally prefer canoe just because it has a bigger storage space, but you can ignore it and just do a storyline to save about 30 minutes of real time. You do not need to follow the tutorial, you just need to get into cave, get a spyglass quest, and run across the island. I would recommend to head over at around 4am. In this case, you will get a spyglass, and we'll have time to run to the top of the mountain to get a quest to leave the island. Uh, cave is to the south, and uh, all materials you can possibly need to build a workbench, wood cutting bench, drying rack, cart, and a tanner workbench are in this area. Um, and you can conveniently access it, though the back entrance to the cave to save a time running around. You can do just a workbench to craft a stone spear and craft the rest later as needed. Now let's cut straight to the run to the spyglass and to the top of the mountain. Um, in case you are having troubles with water, there is a water source. If you take left here, it will go up and on a next fork, take right. There will be water, bamboo, and four or five clay, or you can get clay in next location. Um, it will provide enough. <laughs> Now things get even more straightforward. We first will climb that rock, then we will be sent to next location. There we will pick up one item we will need for a progression. 
but instead of going storyline and a bunch of tough enemies and absolutely unbearable weather, we will get copper uh, and clay from much easier location. I will explain in details when we get there. Time to fast forward. <laughs> Do not accidentally use this item. You need it to get out of this zone.
at this stage it is easier to get coal from here. We need about 10 units. Um, the more the merrier. Free shovel uh, in this cave. Um, we will use it back on that previous island in a sec. Uh, let me show you where you can shortcut straight to the camp where you need an ink and copper ingot to open a pass to the iron and gunpowder and to an island where you will want to relocate your base to. gather clay here safe and easy go back to base craft one copper ingot and bring it to the previous camp <laughs> There are three iron deposits in here. One is down to the right, one is in the middle near the campfire, and last one you will need to run all the way to the top. Mm. Um, gather as much as you can. Um, termites from last location can be turned into cure for overheating. <laughs>
now in the third region, um, if counted clockwise, we will first pick up a quest line, which will give us even cooler ship. Mm -hmm. uh, here we will relocate our base, and finally in here we can get ingredients for a gunpowder. Mm -hmm. Final ingredient is there on top of the mountain. You will need an iron crossbow to make it easier to kill alligators from afar and you will need a gas mask. And there is a lever you need to pull to open up a shortcut to the top. to a new base location. Mm -hmm. uh, this island has both copper and iron, has best precipitation for farming, and uh, has flax to craft a weather resistant set of gear mm -hmm. with decent armor to backtrack and gather everything you had to skip to rush in here. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching and have fun. I hope this guide was helpful.